Have you ever been terrified of your main drive suddenly failing? Losing all your photos, documents, and that big project you've been working on for months? What if I told you there's a completely free, powerful tool used by IT professionals that can create a perfect byte-for-byte -byte backup of your entire drive? An image that you can restore, getting you back up and running in case of disaster. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Clonezilla to create a full disk image backup of any SSD or HDD, no matter if it's Windows, Linux, or even a Mac OS drive. This method works. Let's get into it. First, go to the official Clonezilla website. That's clonezilla.org. Download the stable release. Once it's downloaded, you can create a bootable USB using tools like Rufus or Belena Etcher. After creating a bootable USB disk, insert the USB stick into your computer and boot from it. You may need to press a key like F12, F9, or Escape during startup to open the boot menu. You'll see the Clonezilla startup screen. We'll go step by step. Select Clonezilla Live default settings and press Enter. Choose your language and keyboard layout. When asked, select Start Clonezilla. Now you'll be asked what you want to do. We'll choose device image. This option lets us create an image of the entire drive and save it to another disk or partition. Now, where do we save the image? Since our destination is a local drive, we choose local and press enter. It will now ask you to plug in your storage device. It already should be plugged in. If not, do so and press enter. Mine has been detected and it is the SDA 117 gigabyte drive. This is where I will store the image. Press control C to exit this window. You'll now see a list of attached drives. This is the most critical step. You need to identify which one is your destination backup drive. Look at the sizes, select it, and press Enter. Uh, you can skip this. These are the folders on the drive where I'll save the image. Select the folder where you want to store the image. Select Done, and then press Enter. Select Done, and then press Enter. When you're ready, select Beginner Mode. Choose Save Disk because we are saving an entire disk to an image file. Now, name your image. You can use any name. Next, select the source disk you want to image Again, look at the sizes and model numbers carefully if more than one appears. Select it and press Enter. For compression, leave it at the default and press Enter.
it is a good idea to check if the saved image can be restored or has errors. If you want, you can encrypt the image if you have sensitive data on your PC so that no one can just get the image and restore it. Decide what to do after the image is created. The process might take several minutes to hours depending on drive size and speed. It is now done and says all the images are restorable. Let me now boot into the Windows 11. If you look on your destination drive, you'll now see a new folder with your image name containing several files. These files together are your backup. Don't delete or move them individually. To restore from this image, you simply boot from the Clonezilla USB again. Select device image here since we are still dealing with images. The steps are almost identical to the backup process with one crucial change. Now browse to the folder where the image is saved. This is the main menu. Before, we chose Save Disk. Now, we do the opposite. Select Restore Disk to restore an entire disk from an image. If you were only restoring one partition, you'd use Restore Parts. But Restore Disk is simpler and more common for full system recovery. You now must select the target disk. This is the new or wipe drive that will receive the image. Warning. All data on this drive will be completely erased and overwritten. And we're restoring. This process might be faster than the initial backup as it's a direct write operation. You'll see the progress, data transferred, and speed. Once it hits 100%, you're almost done. When it's finished, you'll see the congratulations, Raz Charlie's message. Clone Zilla will give you options to continue or shut down. Before it restarts, remove the Clone Zilla USB drive. You don't want to boot back into Clonezilla, and if everything went correctly, your computer will boot up from your newly restored drive, and it will be an exact copy of your system at the moment you created the image. All your programs, files, and settings will be right there. And that's it. 
you've just created a full image of your SSD or HDD using Clonezilla. Now you have a safe backup you can restore anytime if something goes wrong or when upgrading your system. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Windows tools and backup tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.